What can bones tell us? I'm Justin Levtov from Redlands, California, and I'm here at Tel Ako to study the animal bones from the excavations here. And what I hope to learn from the bones is what people ate or avoided eating in ancient times. That's what bones can tell us, but they can tell us different things too. First of all, we can see what people ate specifically. So we have a jaw from a cow here, a jaw from a sheep or a goat here. And we can see here not only that this is a leg from a cow, but that it was broken on purpose. Somebody butchered it. There's not much meat on this bone, so people probably used it to get at the marrow and eat soup. Here, it's not an animal that people would eat really, it's from a camel. So we can tell something about ancient trade on the basis of the fact that people had camels here. Same here, this is a, a toe from a horse. And here we have a jaw from a dog. And dogs become common here in the Persian period, sometimes even with cut marks on them, which tells us that the dogs were either sacrificed or eaten, or maybe even both. We have other bones here, bones from deer, from a wild pig, and from a goat. And then we have um, maybe more, you would call more special bones and even a shell here. This is the shell from a snail that lives in the sea called a murex. And people didn't eat these snails. They took out the snails and crushed them to make the royal purple dye of ancient times. And finally here, we have a bone of a cow. It's called an astragalus. It has a hole drilled in it because it was probably originally filled with metal. And people used these as ancient dice, sometimes weighted them, maybe cheated with them, in order to have them land on a particular side more often. These are a few things that bones can tell us. They can also tell us about whether people had barnyard animals, domesticated animals, whether they hunted wild animals like wild pigs, or they could tell us that they avoided ancient uh, animals. They avoided maybe pigs, or maybe they liked pigs. Um, they could tell us that they went hunting in the nearby mountains or went fishing in the nearby sea. And they can tell us how when the peoples of Akko changed over time, maybe their dietary habits changed over time as well. Different influences from different places. Maybe the Persians brought with them their own places, their own uh, preferences. So those are some things that ancient dietary studies through animal bones can tell us.